And now, the Wits Game Show. Because every art, be it comedy or music, should be judged in a competitive setting so you can see if it's worth anything. <laughs> As always, we tailor our games to the unique talents of our guests. Wyatt Cenac, you are a master of fake news. Ted Leo, you write songs and stuff. Our game this week is called News or Opera. I will give you fake headlines. Wyatt, it's up to you to report the story behind the headline. Ted, you must compose a very brief rock opera based on the headline. <laughs> okay. And your stories right. must not match one another's. All right. I will declare a winner for each round, and as always, my judgment will be unfair and capricious. Fair enough. Wyatt, you get the first one. Okay. The headline is, Squirrels may be good musicians after all. Squirrels may be good musicians after all. Um, that story is actually about uh, the public outcry for the reformation of the band the Squirrel Nut Zippers. <laughs> after being a judge for so many two or three years on America's Got Talent, People really felt like uh, the guy who's the lead singer, or no, I'm actually confusing North Carolina bands, sorry. Um, they're both from Chapel Hill and I went to school there. Uh, that Ben Folds, I was confusing Ben Folds and Squirrel Nut Zippers. <laughs> they both, they're from like those same stretch of road and they know each other. It's totally fine. But anyway, public outcry for the reformation of the Squirrel Nut Zippers. Uh, and yeah, so that's how squirrels may be. Is that what was the headline Good musicians again? after all. Yeah. Ted Leo, I think this is a golden opportunity for you to take the round. <laughs> now that I've alienated every Chapel Hill band. <laughs> I'm supposed to play and sing it, right? Yes. Okay. Squirrel, squirrel, gather nuts. No one knows what squirrel does. <laughs> when he's chilling out in things, you'll find squirrels like to I think Ted Leo takes that round. It's pretty, uh, pretty obvious that's a Ted Leo round. All right. Really? I mean, I thought I did. I thought you, I did some bang-up work really, there. You really did. I, really, I thought I really nailed it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know what went wrong. I don't. It's controversial. Yeah. Uh, Ted Leo, you start this one. The headline is a, a one-word headline. Gravy Lanch. Gravy Lanch. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Can can this be a can this be like a this can be I can do rock opera too, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Thanks, man. Uh, okay. Um. Not enough boats in this navy. You know where it's going. <laughs> to carry on my gravy. <laughs> Gonna send a script to Bruce Valanche. <laughs> Finish it's it. It's a romantic comedy. About you and me that ends in tragedy. <laughs> and I'm not gonna rhyme Valanche with Gravy Lanch. Instead, I'm gonna rhyme tragedy with. And this time, don't forget the gravy. Wow. The oh. Buck Bunny reference. I don't know. Oh. That's like. A that's like a jazz joke. You, you expect something to happen, and then the other thing happens. Mm -hmm. That's well, why terrible, jazz is never, ever rhyme. funny. You can't rhyme lanch with lanch. I only realized that after I said oh, the lanch. So I, you know what? I lose that round. 
Well, I, Sweet, I don't know. I gotta do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You're forfeiting the round to, to Wyatt Cenac? All right, we'll move I, on to the next headline. Wow, and I actually, I had, I thought I had one for that one. I thought, oh, wait, are you booing? Are you okay, booing Okay, I'll tell you piece? what, if it's good enough, I'll give you two points. And uh, if it's just okay, I'll give you one point. Um, Gravy Lanch, Wyatt Cenac, go. All right, uh, tragedy struck Sonoma, California at uh, this year's Gravy Con. Uh, <laughs> the yearly gathering of wavy gravy impersonators. <laughs> Numbers exceeded what they had estimated and their, uh, their big hillside uh, gravy, gravy soiree, uh, the, uh, the deck that they were all hanging out on, it, it gave and, or it grave. Um, yeah. So many, so many dead wavy gravy impersonators. <laughs> Two points for Wyatt Cenac. Boom. All right, all right, don't get cocky here because you've, uh, you're up next for the next round. Oh, we're not done? No. <laughs> the next headline, Bob Dylan gets stuck in something. All right, all right. Um, Bob Dylan gets stuck in something. Uh, this is a horrible news story uh, for two reasons. Um, the first, we find out uh, with this news story that Bob Dylan is a terrible kleptomaniac. Um, it's something he'd been hiding for years, but many other musicians knew about and just tried to cover up for him. So there's the scandal of that, that there's just people have been missing guitar picks and you know combs and things for years. And, it was always, it was, it was in Bob Dylan's house. And when you talk about getting stuck in something, it's his house where he'd been hoarding all those things. <laughs> so the second tragedy is that Bob Dylan is a hoarder. Um, <laughs> but the bright side, he gets to be the subject of a two-part episode of Hoarders <laughs> that winds up getting amazing ratings. So it's a story that has like two bad parts and then like there's a nice thing if you like watching Hoarders. <laughs> Ted Leo, Bob Dylan gets stuck in something. The rock opera. Through the door. No. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Oh. Through the door that is locked. There's a, th there's be behind the door that is locked Through the crack there's a glimmer man Won't somebody come and save Bob Dylan Also known as Zimmerman <laughs> Ooh. I'm giving that to Ted Leo That's a Ted Leo yeah. So right because I didn't get to do my part of like as they're saying he has a problem with his hoarding. He's like, I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I need all these things. <laughs> I don't know, but I might need this newspaper from 18 years ago. <laughs> you want to give it yeah, to Ted me. Yeah, Ted still gets that round. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kevin Eubanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're currently in a two-to-two -two tie. So, uh, so we're in a, a tie-breaking uh, round here. Uh, Ted, you'll go first on this one. The headline is, Emus, the worst threat we've ever faced. <laughs> Emus. Emus. I had a whole thing. You know what? I can't do it. I had a whole thing. 
Wyatt Cenac, yeah. <laughs> you have an opportunity to win the game. It seems like he just forfeited that one, too. I, I kind of did. I, mean, I don't know. I was... If you pull off something similar to your Ben Folds move, it, it could end up in a draw. I screwed myself by trying to model it after an actual opera bit, which is <laughs> dumb, you know. What, what were you trying to do? Lock May. I don't know, I don't know what that is. Apparently I don't either, so. Oh, okay. You know how those punk rockers are with their operas. <laughs> um, what was the headline again? Uh, emus, the worst threat we've ever faced. Emus, the worst threat we've ever faced. Um, my, uh, I'm going to say that uh, this story is one uh, why are all these bad news stories? Like, they're all tragedies, John. Like, you should sell papers, what can I tell you? I mean, I guess, yeah. If it bleeds, it leads. <laughs> Especially when it bleeds, emu. Um, I, uh, I guess uh, the worst threat we've ever faced, my, uh, this story is about how emus have now... Uh, gain the ability to crossbreed with other animals and have gone on a crazy humping spree. <laughs> and the problem with this is now every animal in this country is not just, you know, you, oh, you got a dog, but now it's part emu. <laughs> you have a cat, it's part emu. Parakeet, part emu. All of our animals are going to be part emu, thus bigger and unwanted. <laughs> Gorilla emu, anyone? No one. Right, but think about when you're having to clean up gorilla emu poop <laughs> all over your zoo and your streets, and then it's gonna be a rise of the gorilla emu. Oh, we were warned about the rise of the planet of the apes, but nobody ever could warn us about the rise of the planet of the Gorilla Moo. You know, uh, for, bringing, for bringing the term Gorilla Moo and the phrase crazy humping spree to public radio, <laughs> the winner is Wyatt Cenac, ladies and gentlemen. Bravo. And Take that, Ted Leo. <laughs>